Amber Round and I teach first grade. And after attending the Ag in the Classroom Summer Conference, I decided to just jump in head first and take the Ag in the Classroom lessons and turn those into bigger projects. So this week we are doing cotton, which is really exciting because that's not a crop that the kids here will see in this part of the state. And so we started out Monday uh, with an introduction. I just brought in some things that are made of cotton. I had the kids turn their shirts around and, and look at their tags. And uh, really we just generated a list of questions that they wanted to find answers to this week. Um, about cotton and so every day I've tried to uh, create activities that is that will meet those standards but also answer their questions at the same time and have some fun so that way they're engaged. This is the last stage, stage four. You can see there's a little bowl of cotton because that cotton is ready to be harvested. We planted cotton seeds um, and so that was really exciting for the kids because I think a lot of them, it was the very first time they've ever actually planted something. Some of the kids decided to keep their plants here so we can document the growth and so they can really see it right here in front of them, uh, the magic of life happening. We have learned that cotton needs insects, good insects, like bees, butterflies, and whenever it looks like it has died, it'll start turning brown. That's whenever you know it's good to pick it. I am bound and determined this year also to show that I can meet all of the Oklahoma academic standards for math for first grade through my Ag in the Classroom projects. You're gonna use your tongs to do groups of 10. Why would we be doing this? What did we talk about? What standards are we doing today? Remember I said today we will count forward with objects by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So I got these for us to use to measure. Now why would we be doing this? What other standard did we talk about this morning that we're gonna do today? Use standard and non-standard measuring tools, okay? So on your paper, you're gonna use cotton seeds, and then you're gonna use a ruler. My goal in doing the Ag in the Classroom lessons is to really um, raise awareness about the role of agriculture in our state and to really just give the kids some exposure.